Hi everybody, it's Mara Dat. Thanks for coming to watch this video and I hope everyone's having a great day. We're in our last week of school and that means that this is one of our last videos together. And I just have to say, I had so much fun making these videos over the past couple of months, whether it be a story or an art project or even an experiment like our bean experiment. I had so much fun making them and I heard so many nice things from different kids that they enjoyed these videos. So thank you again for watching all these videos. Today we are going to be doing an art project about trees, specifically the bark of the trees. The bark is that brown long part of the tree before the leaves. And I don't know if you noticed, but the bark has a certain type of texture, which means it feels a certain way. It's usually rough and they also look different. All the barks on different trees are different than each other. It's not smooth, it's rough, it's hard. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's lines all across the bark. Maybe the lines go crisscross or diagonal or there's diamond shaped bark on it. If you look closely, you'll see that the bark has kind of like its own pattern on it. And that's what we're going to draw. We're gonna draw the bark of a tree, the texture on it, and we're gonna make it colorful. We could do whatever we want with it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna look at different pictures of barks of trees, and we're gonna talk about it, and then we're gonna draw a picture together. Or you could go outside and explore the trees around you because there's a lot of trees now because we're in summer and you could take pictures of your own trees and study it and pay attention to how it looks like and draw your own. So let's get started. So I drew kind of like an example of what we're going to be doing in this video. So this is an example of the tree bark. Now it's not perfect, you know, there's polka dots on it. There's squiggly lines. It's just a really fun project. And it just helps you notice the different textures of trees. Some textures of the tree on the bark have straight lines going all over. Some have crisscross lines. And I just made it really colorful and everyone else's is going to be different. So with that, I could start showing you pictures of trees. So let's start off by looking at this tree. It has lots of lines going up and down and it looks like a very rough kind of texture. Texture means the feeling of the tree. The next tree we're going to look at is a palm tree. And remember, every bark looks different than the other types of trees. So this bark kind of looks like different layers of a cake because the lines of this tree go straight across, which means horizontally. Then we have this tree where it's white and brown and it's kind of in a way spotted and it looks really cool. This next tree has lines going again across, but there's one thing that all the barks have in common, besides for it being a rough kind of texture, they all have lines. That's what we're focusing on, how the lines are moving on the tree bark. Maybe the tree bark has dots on it too. Maybe the lines are like this type of tree where it's really red and colorful and it's going up and down. Or maybe it's going from side to side. Maybe it's a zigzag type of pattern. That's what we're focusing on. The pattern of the lines on the tree. Just look at the lines and copy the style and you make it as colorful as you want. If you want to make colorful squares inside your tree bark, you could do that. It's all about paying attention to what you see and using your imagination. So this tree, up from far, you can't really see it, but when you look from close, you really see how some of the tree bark is peeling. I see some polka dots on it, and it's really cool. Again, here we see the lines coming in together, going up and down, and some of the lines are thicker than others, which means like bigger. Like over here, the bark looks much bigger, so again, Take an idea of how you want your tree bark to look like, and really that's it. So here is some examples of your picture and how it's going to look like. So in these pictures, they took one idea from the bark. So let's say they decided, I want to make straight lines going across. So that's all they did. They made straight lines going across, and they just made their tree bark very colorful. 
Some kids even made polka dots because we did see some dots on the bark or some even made hearts. It's all up to you and how you want it so to look I like. So I hope you guys learned something from those pictures that the tree bark just has different lines going straight across. Maybe they're going up and down. Maybe they meet together and then they separate. Maybe the lines are even going zigzag like an X or there's different dots all over the trees. So now let's go on to the fun part. And here's the supplies that you're going to need. You need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some markers or crayons for us to do this together. So take a minute to pause this video and let's get started. So now that I have my paper, a pencil, and markers, I want you to choose a style of the bark that you liked, whether it's straight lines, squiggly lines, polka dots, hearts, squares, choose a couple of styles that you want because we're going to draw a couple of pictures of trees, not just one on one page. You can make even four on one page. So let's get started. How do you draw bark? Well, it's really very easy. You take your pencil from the bottom of the page or the top and you just make a straight line. And let's say you want some branches sticking out. Remember to make the line just sticking out and then to make it on both sides and then you leave that empty space and then you keep going up maybe I want to make one more I'll make a triangle branch and then I just keep going all the way to the top but now I have to make one more side so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so you can make it as thick as you want or as small as you want, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So now I made one branch. I'm gonna keep this all the way, let's just close that. So now we have one branch. Now let's decorate it. I just want to make stripes going back and forth. So I'm just going to make stripes. You can make as many stripes as you want or as little. Or if you want to make polka dots, you can make polka dots too. The next step is to color it in. Uh, I just colored my whole tree bark in. I did a pattern of green, pink, and purple. And you could do whatever you want. You don't have to copy my example. Do whatever colors you want, as colorful as you want it to be. And that's one tree bark. Let's make one more. I think I want to do polka dots. Draw some polka dots. There you have it. We have our two tree barks and they're all different textures. So remember, you guys could do whatever style you want, color it in, color even the background, which is behind the bark, make a sky, make a blue sky, make the night sky, which is a dark blue color. So color it in, make as many barks as you want and whatever styles you want, you can even put hearts in it. So. 
So thanks for watching guys. I had so much fun making these videos. I hope you enjoyed watching this one too. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.